Good pitch at the blue line. Brockville now controlling. Oh! As Robinson sends it in, and we got a beautiful goal to start things off for the Braves at 1737. Left in the period, Brockville Braves. As it looks like it was Isaacson getting the goal against his former teammates. Isaacson got uh, Isaacson got a Christmas gift really early. It's a big rebound from Dax Easter right onto Mr. Isaacson's stick. Beautiful gift. Santa Claus came early for him. That's right there on your uh, replay. Zach Isaacson, right place, right time. Rockville Braves, one Colts, no score. Send it high down the line. Richet's there for the Colts. Oh, That's boy. intercepted. Two on one. Rockville Braves coming in on the line. Nice feed and they score. Wow. Number 21 for the Brockville Braves. Aiden Yardy on a beautiful, beautiful feed. Dax Easter, no contest. It's 2 0. Brockville Braves with 10 38 remaining in the first period. No mistake about it. Owen Sound born. Aiden Yardy puts it away. Number 21 going high to beat Mr. Dax Easter. Gorgeous feed. Gorgeous feed by number 25, Eric Bernard. Yeah, it was just beautiful. He already puts the Brockville Braves up 2 0. We'll go with that. Great well, goal, yes. My Sam story, I'm staying with it. There he goes. Big shot on I think Big that deflected. Shot Bernier goes top shelf on Mulu right off the faceoff. Wow. I was telling you earlier, Paul, the faceoffs are going to be a key. Cornwall was losing most of them. Finally won a good one clean. And Garnier goes top shelf on Sammy Molu. That's Garnier's sixth goal of the season for the Cornwall Colts. Cornwall making things a little bit tighter here with 8.44 remaining in the second period. Shots on net. First period. Sorry, the first period. My God, the game's uh, flying by. Not that fast, though, right? Eh? And that's tipped in by a Cornwall Colt. I believe that went off of Mercedes. Shot from the point. I, I'll have to check and see who got that. Looks like Matt Harvey uh, potted that. Two ex Cornwall uh, Colt players up on the scoreboard tonight wow. as the Brockville Braves go up 3-1 to one with eight minutes remaining in the first period. Yeah. Deflection happened there somewhere in front of the net. Couldn't look at the replay and Brockville up again by uh, by a couple of goals. You know, it's the old story, Paul. You can't go wrong by putting it on the net. That's right. Don't look for the perfect play all the time. When in doubt, shoot the puck. All controlling now. Colts back to spec me. Me looks to send it back in. And here come the Brockville Braves back the other way. Brockville. O'Rourke. He's checked up off the play. Working with him is Bernard. Cole now at the point, gets it through, and they score oh. again! That goes off number 12, O'Rourke, on a point shot by Josh Coyle, and the Brockville Braves go up 4-1. to Wow, a lot of action here in a very limited time here, Rick, under 13 minutes, and we've already got five goals, four of which come from the Brockville Braves. You know, uh, as hard as the Brockville Braves have been this year, uh, a game like this can turn things right around for the ball. Rockville's always dangerous, no matter where they are to stand and start off the season. That go as not icing, eh? <laughs> Rockville Braves now again working out front. And they oh, score again. Wow, 19. Great to number 19. Mr. Isaacson. Mr. Zach Isaacson. That's, that's two on the night. Wow. I uh, have a feeling you might see a little bit of a change yeah. here. So with 5.30 remaining in the period, Brockville Braves go up on Cornwall Colts, 5-1. to one. Wow, five, six goals in 15 minutes as the Cornwall Colts down by four goals, Rick. Dale looked to start it out again. Harvey sends it up the wing. Back track, here we go. Haynes down across the line. Brockville Braves back to Haynes. Coming out across, Luke Char, quick oh. shot, goes top shelf, completely blocked. Shelf daddy, there you go. On a good feed by Haynes. Rockville wow. Braves going up six to one on the Cornwall Colts. Wow. Power play goal, and uh, I don't know who the player was in front of that, but I'm gonna give a big shout out to him because he made that goal happen. That was beautiful. And we'll find out right here from the replay. There, a little bounce. Coming in off the line, another quick shot. 
Oh, big save. That hurt the big yes. score. Cornwall Colts. Ethan Montroy. We're a little bit biased on that one. I Ethan Montroy putting it home. 6-2. That's what the, the start that the Colts needed to get going here. But now hopefully for the Brockville fans, the Braves just counter that. And uh, they got to keep going with their four check. So I apologize uh, for that. Cheering a little bit uh, for the Cornwall Colts. Uh, old habits die hard. Uh, Cornwall Colts, Ethan Montroy on that rebound. Fanned on it the first time, but he was able to uh, square it up and get the second opportunity. Eli Hall was just talking about it right out in the ice. Goes far side. Rosides gives it up. Right back at it. Kept in at the line. Quick shot. Got he scores. scores. Cornwall Colts get a third goal on their comeback. I believe that was... Uh, Nolan Gagno, if that went through clear, and it looked like it did, as uh, goaltender Sammy Moley was screened from about four or five different people here. We'll look at the highlight on this. You see the bodies right in front of him, Nolan Gagno. The puck basically has to squeak through somehow for yeah, to so score. So many bodies so, there. So many bodies to touch that and send it a different direction. And here comes Speckmeet for the Colts, turning it back the other way. LeDrew, cross the line, LeDrew. Tries to go back, the back to LeDrew, shoots and he scores! Trent LeDrew on a give and go. Wow. Beautiful goal. Brockville Braves go up 7-3 with 4.23 remain in the third period. That was a nice give and go right there. Nice give and go, nice block at the center ice by the Brockville Braves defenseman to no, start, Trent LeDrew, the, yeah. start that whole play and then following up with the goal, LeDrew. So end to start to finish, LeDrew was part of that whole Tell you what, if you want to put out a fire, that's pretty much the way you do it. Absolutely great. Full marks for the Brockville Braves tonight. Played a good, hard four-checking home game. 